Welcome back from my daily report market analysis videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Antec on Thursday, 23rd of July. Um, let's have a look at dollar yen now. Interesting moves on dollar yen because ultimately the dollar is really weak at the moment, but it would appear that the yen is not doing a great deal better, is it? I mean, we had that sharp move to the downside on uh, Tuesday, but then a pretty much a, an entire retracement candle on Wednesday on dollar yen. So the downside move that we saw on the dollar has not really translated to a breakdown on dollar yen. Um, 106.60 continually comes back in as a basis of support, or certainly has done in the past month or so, aside from this uh, break to 106 figure that uh, instantly rebounded. And again, I'll reiterate, it seems still to be that anything between 106 and 107 is bought into. Um, and uh, the market just doesn't really want to go down. So it is an interesting basis of support that continues to hold. And um, it's a flaw, I think, I mean, certainly linked to how Treasury yields are moving. And Treasury yields have been sort of eking a little bit lower, but nothing decisive. And I don't think they'll be breaking too sharply lower at any stage soon. So I think that this dollar yen sort of holds on to this range, really. 106 to 106.60 basis of support, arguably around 107 figure. Having said that, there isn't really any buying appetite either at the moment. Sort of rising up to 50 on RSI, can it get a, get through it? Well, if it went above 50, you'd argue that would probably trigger um, a breakout above 107.40, which is this reaction low, sorry, reaction high, uh, and uh, basically a pivot line. I'll get you on here. You can see that, that around 107.40 has been limiting over uh, the past couple of weeks. So a breakout above that improves the outlook. And then you start to think about 107.75 and maybe even 108.10, 108.15, which is basically midpoint of the range. So little signs of improvement, but nothing by any means that you'd find any, uh, that we're finding any traction for. And ultimately the dolly yen is basically flat on the day to day. So again, struggling for real direction. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website, sign up for our webinars, and also click to watch our Trader Talks videos to gain some top trading ideas. And we've just produced another one.